Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Malkowski, the mathematician, and today we're going to talk about writing an exponential equation in logarithmic form. And if you are watching this and you want to know how to do it the other way, so writing a logarithmic equation in exponential form, you can click right there and get a video of me doing that. All right, so let's begin. Okay, so there's several ways we can approach this. Um, I'm not going to do, you know, a way one, way two, way three officially. I'm just going to tell you the different ways. All right. So first, the first thing we are going to start with is we have two to the third equals eight. And how can we write, that's an exponential equation. How can we write it in logarithmic form? All right. Well, let's think about what the definition of a logarithm is. Okay. And we can use that definition to rewrite it in logarithmic form. Okay. So we know that definition is log, and I'm going to keep these all open here, living dangerously, log base b of x, oops, nope, leave it open, it's faster that way, oh, it's a little slower while I'm opening, but then it will be faster, um, log base b of x equals y, okay, equals y, all right, if and only if this little tangent here one time I was right so if and only if can be abbreviated IFF if and only if and I'll never forget when I was writing something back when I was in the classroom and I wrote IFF and the students were like Ms. McCaskey you spelled it wrong and I'm like I totally see why but IFF, so if your teacher ever writes IFF, it's not that they can't spell. I mean, I was never really a good, I'm still never really not a good speller, but it doesn't mean they can't spell, it means they mean if and only if, all right? So fun fact there. Um, okay, so log base B of X equals Y if and only if, where are we here? Make sure my colors are correct. B, oh no, there goes the cap. B to the Y, See, I broke this marker after the last take. Um, equals x. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we know that log base b of x equals y, if and only if b to the y equals x. So if we have it in this form, we can just kick it back to this form, right? All right. So what you're going to want to do is identify what your b, your y, and your x are, write them. And there's a reason I did it in color so you can see it a little bit better. See blue to the red equals the green. So blue to the red equals green. Um, so we're going to just do that to be able to write it as log base blue of green equals red. Okay. So let's identify what our B or Y and our X are. So if we come over here, well, B is two and Y is very good. Three and X is eight. Awesome. All right. So now that we have everything, we know it goes log base B of X equals Y. So we come over here and we say, okay, log base B. And what was B again? Well, B was two. Here's the base. B was two. And that's the great thing is that in exponential or logarithmic form, it's always the base, the base is the base, which is kind of easy to remember. Um, makes things easier. Okay. Um, log base B of X. So what's X? Well, X is eight. Okay, or whoops. Ah, shoot, I messed up. This was supposed to be log base, not B. I wrote B, but B was two, and then I wrote B over there. Oh my goodness, I need a nap. Okay, so log base two of X, X equals eight, okay, equals Y, and Y is three. Perfect. So we're done. That was it. So here it is um, in exponential form and here it is in logarithmic form. And all we did was we used the definition of a logarithm and we said, all right, well, b to the y equals x and, and we can rewrite that as log base b of x equals y. And so we just found out what's b, what's y, what's x, and then we substituted them inappropriately. Okay. So it's really awesome. All right. So nicely done. I hope the colors helped you with that. So now let's do um, 
another way. So this other way is just more of a visual way. Some of your teachers may have taught you saying using a circle, using a swoosh. I've heard both of those um, by teachers. Okay. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to leave that up there and I'm going to rewrite it now just in black. Okay. Um, because we don't really need colors for this because it's more of we're drawing a circle. All right. I'll leave these like this in case I need them. Okay. Um, so let's say I have two to the three equals eight. So a way to remember how to rewrite it is we draw a circle. So we start with the two, okay? Um, we're always starting with the base. That's something to remember. Just always start with the base. That makes sense, right? You always start with a base, you know, when you do things in math and when you do things in life. Okay, so start with a base, boom, and draw a circle. So we start here, we go to eight, and then we land on three. So now if we're going to write it, we do it in the same order. So we went from two to eight to three. So now let's write it. Log base two, because that's where we started. Also, the base is the base, which is nice, of eight equals three. That's it. Okay? So a lot of students like that because they like the visual. You know what I mean? And I'll see them doing and. If for some reason you were ever given it this way, you know what I mean? If you don't, if you're not sure, you know, what to do, I always just tell my students just rewrite it the other way, right? You can still draw the circle, but you're drawing the circle this way instead, okay? Um, I'm more of a counterclockwise person. I don't know if that's because I'm thinking of, you know, angles. Like when you get to the unit circle and you're talking about angle measure, you always go counterclockwise. Um, but anyways, if you get it the other direction, it's totally fine. Um, you can either switch the stuff or draw the circle the other way. Um, all right, perfect. So that was the second way, which is drawing a circle. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the third way, which is just kind of thinking intuitively, what does it mean, right? When I write, so let me cover these up so they don't dry out here, but when I am writing a logarithm, right, what, what, what am I doing? Why, why am I doing that? What does it mean, right? So let's say I were to write, and I'm just going to use it with, with um, b and x. So let's say I were to write log base b of x. So what is that equal? What is that? Well, that's, it's saying what exponent, you know, what's the power that I need to raise b to to get x, right? So what power am I raising b to to get x? Okay, so we're solving for the exponent. We're saying that it equals an exponent, right? So... You can say right there, oh, well, my exponent is 3. So then I know it's going to equal 3 because it's saying, log base b of x is saying, what power do I need to raise b to to get x? And that is, you know, the exponent, right? So boom, 3 is now there. And then we say, okay, well, what power do I raise 2 to to get 8? Well, that's exactly, there we go. That's it. We figured it out, right? So it's saying, what power do I raise b to to get x? And up here, we have it written that way, 2 to the 3rd equals 8. So I need to raise 2 to the 3rd power to get 8. Okay? So that's a little bit more kind of intuitive, but if you think about that when you're doing a log, forget about what it equals. What it is is it's saying this is the power, okay, the exponent that you need to raise 2 to to get 8. Okay, or that you need to raise b to to get x, all right? So then if you have it in exponential form, you say, oh, it's going to equal the exponent. Then you can just kind of, if you understand it intuitively, you just kind of put everything in where it goes. So there you go. Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Mulkowski, the mathematician, and I hope you found that last video helpful. If you have any questions or if there are any topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'm going to leave you with the most important piece of advice I can give you, which is when you're doing mathematics, always ask why.